Hey everyone! In this video I want to go, go ahead and um, show y'all the Memento Mori um, junk journal that I made. It's got scrapbook paper front with um, black sponging with acrylic paint to give it a weathered look. It's got um, like a linen type looking paper on the side with a little bit of sponging to give it a weathered look also. Pink embroidery thread. It's got um, a sparrow skull with a heart on it, and then miscellaneous beads that I recycled. And then on the back, it's um, like this. On the front, there are two um, antique looking uh, corners, and then this chain, and then the cow in the middle. So on the inside, when you open it, it's got um, cow skull like papers on the inside. These are all hand embossed, um, so you can put whatever you want there. Um, this paper here has moths on it, and they kind of have like gold glitter on their bodies. So I'll just go ahead and go through um, each page just so y'all know what you'd be getting if you were to buy it. Some of these sheets are double sided. And I went ahead and included some black pages because um, these are really good for like if you have white gel pens and stuff like that. I really like the way like white gel pens and metallic pens look. Um, this right here is like a little fold out so it folds out like that. Then you can fold it up like this. And this um, has six signatures, about three to five pages per signature. Each signature is um, kind of a different size. I tried to make them all the same size. So the white pages, I believe, are nine by 12s um, folded in half. So in some of this, I have like, this is an envelope. I actually have a um, pressed flower in here. I don't really want to pull it out, but you can kind of see it. I don't know what it was. It's something that grows, grows in my backyard. And then this came from a um, magazine, so <laughs> it's got a little bit of writing on the back, but y'all can cover that up. And then here's another little addition, and that you can pull up like that, or just put it back. You can put pictures under it or write under it, whatever you want to do. I'm having a little bit of trouble. There we go. Missed a page, but that's just white. I included some uh, pages from a book that I was recycling, so I really like these. Um, like if you want to paint on them, that always looks really, really cool, like with acrylic paint or watercolor. I don't know, I personally like doing that, but it might just be me. And then this is a double-sided paper with like ephemeral type photographs in it. Rose paper, more black paper, and then this has a bunch of ephemera in it which I will pull out and I will put back after the video, but let me do that carefully. So I think in total this one has 10 pieces. I'll put them on this side so since I'm going to change the page. And then this right here is um, a handmade piece of paper that I bought somewhere. It's got like leaves and stuff like that and it's kind of cool. And then this is a vintage wrapping paper that I got at a um, garage sale some time back. This is a hand, I don't know what this is, it's some kind of paper that's like got like this like see-through gold. It's really really neat. Got that in Houston at an art um, art supply store. And then here's another pocket I made out of a planner page that I had. Um, it's got more ephemera in it. That's hand embossed and die cut and that is too. I like to collect these um, 
kind of weird textured papers. Um, I just like having them. I just like paper in general, so it's just kind of fun to have them. And here's another one that I did a project with, and I had a little bit left over, so I included that. That's a really cool texture, too. <laughs> And I really like that page. You can, it's a quilt and it's a tree pattern. That was a planner with quilt still in it. So, I don't know. And that's about what you would get. So let me know if you have any questions. You can um, message me on my Etsy page, on Facebook. However you want to get a hold of me is fine. So, hope you'll have a good day. Bye.